I'm so happy we get to see this side of Nakul. I don't think any time anybody has ever explored. Well, thank you for bringing it out because most people don't have such open conversations. And that's why I told you like when we spoke yesterday that I don't enjoy this process because it's such a superficial conversation, yeah. right? And I don't enjoy talking about myself, my work achievements. It's it's on Google. <laughs> You know, yeah. no one really speaks intimately and no one really shares. And that's my problem with interviews or, um, of course, this is not one. Uh, I think the first award I got for Bade uh, at ITA after the pandemic and after Sufi, I was just short of like tearing up on stage. Uh, and I think something changed. So yeah. I think it came from a place of... Immense gratitude. I think my the in- initial part of my career I had my own challenges, failures, struggle. Like but after what? a point, like I, I started my career with a with a Bollywood film, quintessential song and dance, all of that. It failed. It, no one saw it after the first three days. And for the next three years, it was a struggle. I went back to theater. I said, let me hone my craft because that's all I have. Mm-hmm. I don't have connections. I don't have a network. Work was very hard, you know, to come by. And I think it came to a point where I said, I just want to act. I want to be on a set. Mm. So all the constructs had built in my head that star will become a star. That's all I have to do. Yes, that's all I have to do. That's all I have to do. I said, no, I just want to work. Why am I acting? Right? What is the, like, I reached the why of the profession after, I think those three years made me find the why. And the why was I want to engage with people. Mm. I, want, I want to be able to leave them with a feeling and let them be affected by anything I do and I said then it doesn't matter if I'm a star or not I want to act I think when that kind of that shifted I'm and I started doing that I started enjoying it I realized I awards don't matter mm. you know I think but I, I think it also came from a place of success came a bit later and then I said it doesn't matter and then a lot of success came mm. I said it's okay it doesn't matter in an industry when people look at television there's a different kind of approach people have actors have to television the way they look at their work and you know there is so I was working, uh, it was a pa- period where I wanted to explore filmmaking and I took a sabbatical from my work for three years or oh, wow. I did serious uh, uh, theatre training, I went to Adi Shakti, I did... Uh, ah, yeah. I've, I've gone to Adi Shakti. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, like overall like theatre and filmmaking. So somebody said, go work on a TV uh, set. set. That was my first time as an assistant, assistant AD. I thought, what happens in the world? So I spent three days uh, just observing what was happening and making notes probably. And uh, one thing I realized that there is a power of nation building that the way television can do, nothing else can do. The, the work that you do goes to smaller homes, people in small villages connect to your character. Have you ever felt the power of making that shift with what you want to say, how you want to say it. Absolutely. Uh, for me, I think television, hold, I hold it in the highest regard because it gives, it reaches, like you said, it reaches every household mm-hmm. and not just in India. I think the shows we make are real international shows. I remember the last show I did in travel to 36 different, it was translated in 36 different international languages. What are you saying? It was watched in countries like Kosovo. Badi countries, I mean, Egypt, Indonesia, I don't want to say It really traveled. Television is my way to connect, to reach out, and to be able to engage with people all over. I feel what television also gives you is a long-standing show, right? Mm-hmm. You're able to build your character and mold your character. You know, like stage is the actor's medium, mm-hmm. and anything on camera is a director's medium. Right. I still feel whilst TV will be known and will be always a writer's medium, I feel an actor who's cognizant of what he's doing and what how. he's doing, of his of his skills, of his character and of the world in general mm. and which political, social, cultural background we're working in, mm. there's there's potential to really slare it with your messaging. You know, like the last character I played on television is a very popular show, Bade Achche Lagte Hain, the second part of it. Ram Kapoor. Ram Kapoor. I have to say this to my listeners. Uh, I think we are chasing to get this interview with you for six months. Or yeah. I was like figuring out, ki Nakul hai kon? Like, you worked with my, my younger sister yeah. on a show. You know our producer Rashi for the longest very time. Well. Yeah. And you're our neighbor. Yeah. But still finally, I'm like, kon hai Nakul? And yeah. you know, I, have to, I don't know. So I watched some episodes. And I know Ram Kapoor and, and his quirks and how he holds his phone on the other side of the year. So, it was interesting. I feel what you can, like, what, through that character, like, it's a very unlike television hero. Uh, I think it came from my writers where we build this feminist hero, which on, mm. 
like Hindi television, what works is macho, te- you know, larger than life heroes, which yeah. I played myself uh, to great success. But what what they managed to do here is make I was literally the heroine of the show, I would say, <laughs> right? But I think I recognize that's a compliment. That's a compliment, yes, absolutely, yes. because TV is run by women. Let's yes. understand that. I think I'm very grateful and lucky that I've been able to have substantial parts in an industry dominated by women. Like I'm at their mercy, and I'm glad. I'm glad they've given me these opportunities, right? It's the reverse of films mm. or what films used to be. I felt, and I recognize very, very early on, once I started playing it, that it was a, it was a hero with a woman's heart, and I was able to then shape it with my understanding of the world, with what's happening in the country, with okay, what's okay. happening around, and I saw the change, and I see when it, when it's left such an indelible impact on people across men of our country and women for that matter yeah when i meet them and i realize what has like i can see the layering which one can add like the life one can breathe and that comes from your own worldview that comes from your own ethos that comes from your own lived reality and i see that when people sort of when they meet me it and that's why i like meeting people because mm. i i'm able to see the experiment i have been trying in my own little bubble of a studio mm. has been working and it's made a woman sitting far away feel far more about herself mm. than any man around her has has done that a fictional character has done that right and it's intentional from my side a lot of it i took back home <laughs> you know and i feel uh, is ram is such a vulnerable character, character. Yeah. I was e- and that is something I struggle with in personal life you teared up many times you had oh yeah yeah and I felt it was happening at a time when we had just become parents oh. I was anyway all sorts of there's once you become a parent your heart's always outside your body <laughs> yeah, of course. so I was always I think I was anyway more vulnerable in personal life I was more vulnerable at work mm. and I was able to cross pollinate and take this to my personal life and I feel my if, if you were to talk to my wife she would say I am uh, I am a much better and communicative partner since I've played this role because I was able to take I could recognize that this was really hitting home with people and I said I need to be parts of this guy so it's if you intellectually see this it's a beautiful case study where I could get a feedback loop from my audiences (laughs) and apply it in my own relationships and uh, vice versa and vice versa and it is it is beautiful nice hi Nakul welcome to our show the whole idea of our podcast is to get to know the other side of our successful high performers. So, uh, as a public person, as a successful person, it becomes an image. And everyone sees you from that view. So, where is the conflict for you personally? Do you feel that people constantly look at you as a person that you're not? So, firstly, there is no conflict for me. Because I am very clear in my head that uh, this is... Nakul, the, the human being, citizen of India, mm-hmm. uh, father of someone, husband of someone, friend of someone. And as a career, as a profession, this is what I do and this is what uh, I really enjoy. I love people mm-hmm. and I love, I think my, my greatest strength probably is that I'm super curious. Okay. It's also a weakness sometimes because I'm just curious about everything. Like mm-hmm. sometimes I think my wife complains, I'm going to go somewhere, I I don't know how to leave conversation. <laughs> right? So if I go on talking, ask you to stop. <laughs> I, will. I don't know how to do it, right? Because I'm just curious about our people. Yeah. What happens is a lot of times people meet you because they're meeting their favorite actor, actor celebrity, character, character, someone. Whilst I want to understand who you are behind the audience you are. Right? right? So I think Kabhi Kabar. Uh, it becomes hard to break that wall to get to know the person because they are, trying they are just something. happy with getting a selfie where they're <laughs> looking good and go away. Whilst I want to understand why are they invested in me? Why do they watch the show? What has changed their lives? You know, so that kind of deep engagement is never going to happen. I kind of, I miss that sometimes. But other than that, uh, in my head, it's very clear. This is what I do and I love it. But this is what I do. This is not who I am. Okay. So, how does this differentiation happen? You know, like I, I as, a, as a behavioral analyst, I always talk about we all have a real personality and a public personality. Correct. And when I work with actors, ke hu, <laughs> specifically who are like, you know, carrying a character for a very long time. Just a True. movie project, you got into a character, you worked on it, then you yeah. got out of it. With you, it is like two years, three years, you become that different person. 
मुझे ये बात बड़ी फैसिनेटिंग लगती है कि दिन के कई घंटे यू बिहेव लाइक अनदर कैरेक्टर एंड देन यू नो दिस इज योर रियल पर्सनैलिटी एंड देन यू ऑल्सो हैव योर सोशल लाइफ जहाँ पे हर किसी की हमारी नॉर्मल रोजमर्रा की एक पब्लिक इमेज होती है हाँ. ये कन्फ्यूजिंग नहीं होती है सारी बातें यार सच कहूँ तो हम सब ना अलग वी ऑल बिहेव डिफरेंटली इन डिफरेंट रोल्स वी प्ले राइट एट वर्क यूर डिफरेंट विद योर सिस्टर यू माइट भी डिफरेंट विद अ फ्रेंड यू माइट भी डिफरेंट एट अ पार्टी इफ यू डोंट नो पीपल माइट बी अ सर्टन वे यूल कैरी योर सेल्फ लेस पॉस्चरिंग तो ये एक एक्टर की आई थिंक सिर्फ मुश्किल नहीं होती ये सबको ऑल ऑफ आस प्ले डिफरेंट पार्ट्स लाइक द वे यू टॉक टू यू यू नो समन हु सर्विंग यू माइट बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम समन योर सर्विंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो यू रिपोर्ट टू मेरे लिए आसान है क्योंकि आई थिंक एज एन एक्टर आई नो आई लिव दैट बिटवीन एक्शन एंड कट एंड आई सोन इज इट्स कट आई नो आई एम आउट यू नो देर इज नो रेमिनेंट्स ऑफ दैट पर्सन हालांकि something i've been observing over the last few years it, you know what i find interesting is when i am out and i'm meeting people who kind of enjoy your work or are fans i hate to use that word mm. it's interesting to watch myself from the outside as to how i behave <laughs> because i still don't know how to behave with them right as a human being i want to embrace them because there's so much love and i want to understand what connection what, what part of this connection really ticks their life because i've had such such meaningful like conversations with Likewise. people uh so we were in london a uh, couple of months back with my family mm. and on, on, on just on a whim i decided i did an instagram video saying hey i'm going to be at this coffee shop tomorrow if you're around just come right 150 people showed wow. up in a in a eight seater coffee shop <laughs> we literally had to make a line outside i could probably only do this outside the country the right. people were like out of that 70% of the people i could have some sort of a very short but meaningful engagement i remember a lady i think she said mere paas काम नहीं है अभी तो मैं बहुत छोटे घर में रहती हूँ सो आई कॉन इन्वाइट यू बट आई नो यू माइट बी मिसिंग होम्स आई गॉट सम रबड़ी मेड फॉर यू राइट एंड शी सेड आई रियली होप दैट वन डे वॉन्ट इन्वाइट यू होम एंड एम सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज आई कॉन टेल यू हाउ यू चेंज माई लाइफ लाइक थ्रू दीज पीरियड्स वेयर आई वॉज स्ट्रगलिंग हेयर आई बिन स्ट्रगलिंग योर शो एंड योर कैरेक्टर हेज गिव इन मी रीजन टू स्माइल राइट एक किस्सा वो था एक किस्सा था मुझे याद है मैं फैन मीट एंड रीड के लिए अगेन लंडन गया था दो हज़ार तेरह में and there was a lady on a wheelchair 80 year old she just hugged me and she said aap mere room mein base ho yeah, i said ye to meri biwi ne mujhse nahi kaha hai is tak <laughs> you know like suddenly you look at yourself from an outside perspective and say aisa to kuch kiya nahi maine aur kya privilege hai ki logo ki life ka hissa ban jata hai you know but what happens is sometimes i look at myself from outside and see how am i behaving with them hmm. am i being the slightly larger than life nakul and embracing them knowing that they love me or can i be real and embrace them it is hard hmm. because i while i feel while i feel i'm authentic i don't know what level of authenticity it is and i want to achieve like be able to be fully completely available fully available but also uske pitfalls bhi hai na kyunki then people want a piece of you yeah. like full of you wo aadhe ghante ka maine socha main 6 saal log aayenge mil lunga aur date matlab for 2 hours you're just taking a photo with everyone and i said that's the minimum i can give them yeah. for someone who travel 2 hours in a tube on a sunday Uh, freezing london day to come meet me that's the minimum i can do but i find it very interesting how i behave like luckily there was janki this time and she came and she was also very just overwhelmed by the experience oh but God. i was i was trying to sort of have a conversation with her to understand how am i supposed to be with them like there are times when i feel i'm fully there there are times when someone goes overboard i then behave like a little bit of a oh, like uh, give me some space because outwardly you know how to be courteous and polite mm. we would find ni- right words to say it but in my heart can i really like embrace them mm. and still be safe distance it's a it's a it's a dichotomy in my head and i still like I feel most of the fans who come and meet, they are so conscious and they are nervous, and most of them are shaking. Aww. They don't realize I am shaking too because I still don't know <laughs> is it okay for me to like embrace them, put a hand around? Yeah. Because as a person, I'm very free. I would go and hug anybody. But now the re- relationship is slightly yeah. changed. What is okay? And after in the last three years, the world has changed. How much is okay? What is fine? Yeah. If someone wants to hug you, can you let them? It's a and we saw something recently right like celebrities being uh, <coughs> in a way approached aggressively where somebody went and tried kissing what happens hugging. all the time i also feel sometimes it happens because overwhelmed ho jate hain they are overwhelmed so if you understand that psyche like i remember when i pehla show tha 
first year of television not seen any none yeah. of this fame and popularity this lady who came with her husband she came and straight got a wet kiss like <laughs> i think i missed the she missed the lips by like a few <laughs> millimeters <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> and when she left there was some saliva i was like what is going on and she said aapki girlfriend hai kya and uh, i said ha nahi meri patni hai matlab uh. and she was smiling she was like are mil mili mere husband se i was like how is this okay how is this cool <laughs> but i was so naive and young into this i didn't know how to nicely say this is not okay yeah right so i am also dealing with this i don't know as a human being how to be completely in my skin and like feel what was your fan boy moment did you have anybody when you like you went like crazy and you of course uh, i was coming back on a flight from calcutta after watching an ipl game and uh, another privilege of my job is when i was working on the last show i used to be called uh, you know i was working with the network and they would call me to give the nai soch award or something to mai dhoni se mila kohli se and it's my greatest like oh. sports is my greatest it gets my it gets me every time i was coming back and i was dead tired i was just sleeping in my seat suddenly just i opened my eyes shifted and on my right i see this couple dev sitting <gasps> and i've grown up <laughs> on Worshiping. collecting articles of couple dev <laughs> his phone and 30 second wicket i wrote a poem my first Whoa. ever right i didn't know what to say and i feel otherwise you i can you know how to speak i you can't trust her it. i just didn't know what to say so i just pretended that i'm still sleeping in my seat because i didn't know what the first line must be to someone who's couple dev right yeah. kya kahun what can be an ice breaker right <laughs> half when i pretended to sleep then someone i think tab jet chal raha tha jet that lady came and gave me you know there's there's a new chalan i think in every airline they come and give you a uh, hi nakul so so lovely to have you we watch your show it's yeah. i think this new yeah it's face feed but also i think it's a pr move because everyone instagrams that so they came and gave me and i was pretending to be cool and not notice <laughs> kapil paji sitting next to me i was trying to take a picture of it right taki main baad mein post karu and thoda show off kar lu he looks at me saying acche se aa nahi raha main aapki le lu iske sath I was like, "What are you saying, man?" <laughs> and that kind of broke the ice. And then, then you spoke. And then I spoke for another next two hours. Luckily, it was a two and a half hour flight. I wasted half an hour, but two hours. It's not. It's not. But yeah, I'm saying and I spoke to him about his everything, everything. But I was very nervous, and I didn't know how to be. And this is someone who's gotten used to like you know. Yeah. Uh, so I still don't know. I think with sports people, I am. You still that fan boy. I'm a fan boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to be. So Rakul, acting career. like you wanted to choose this throughout or something that happened because you realize something and i also want to ask you this question okay is the difference between being an actor and being famous okay and you speak very actively about awards don't matter i did and i think it also came from a a place of bit of it doesn't matter but i think uh, the last 2 3 years 2 3 i think a few things have changed in my life one was the pandemic okay. and i realize i may never go back on a set again if the world doesn't heal and i realize i should be thankful and grateful for everything i have been able to receive, receive. and do and be part of that shifted a bit i think having a uh, sufi in our lives changed everything and suddenly you realize that everything was celebrated so i think i'm a different person post that and i used to say that is there any scene anything that you remember that you genuinely felt your heart was into it or something that you You remember, like a moment as an actor. Oh, too many, yeah. <laughs> and that's the beauty of really what I do. Uh, like this conversation right now, now if, uh, even if there weren't cameras, it's you and I just chatting, right? And I think that's the beauty of acting. I feel as uh, being a man in this in this country and the conditioning one receives. Uh, having seen my dad, who's a defense officer, you know, he's become emotional with age, but mm. I won't say vulnerable. Mm. I have never, he, we've never discussed his. failures or weaknesses openly at home and i have grown up to be the same person that if it's a problem i will solve it i don't need to share it with my partner or my best friend main hu na mera ye meri response mera kartavya hai main karke solve karke baat karunga takleef main lunga main usse agar agar khushi hai to main share karunga takleef hai main kyun share karu wo to mera kaam hai na main i am a man and i think i have i have kind of imbibed this uh, but i think very often what acting has let me sort of do is be vulnerable be okay to cry in front of people like i'm still not okay to cry in front of people mm. uh but when it's action and cut a lot of times it's just me like being present and letting myself go because i can't do it in real life oh. i'm better off but it's very hard 
and uh, i'm fighting that conditioning it's it's very hard for for a person who doesn't uh, understand acting per se or this vocabulary how will you define vulnerability i think all of us feel so much human beings right mm. but we keep it to ourselves because we feel ki log kya sochenge main apne kareebi relative ya family ko kyun tang karu disturb karu there's already so much like all of us are jostling with struggles right also all when when you have this judgment happening that you don't want to look like a weaker person no actually it's not even that okay it's just that sometimes i just don't know how to express i hope i'm not using it like loosely but if you're autistic sometimes mm-hmm. like you can't Like you don't make, have the agency to you express. don't have the yeah right it's that it's not that i feel the world will think i'm weaker i just don't have i want to but it doesn't happen because i've never seen anyone any man in my environment do it mm. so i've grown up believing that i am supposed to be like the glue of the family mm. i am supposed to take care of everyone it's not that i don't want to or i'll be i'm a hero i have a public none of that none of that bullshit mm. i can't Like I want to, like thinking about this, I'm feeling, <laughs> like I'm feeling all kinds of things. But there's one one part of my brain is saying, no, dude, you can't like mm. hold yourself, mm. and it's a weakness. Luckily, as an actor, you I speak. forget it. <laughs> But in action, I kind of forget it, and I let myself go, man. Mm-hmm. I just am there, and I realize the difference is that I'm so present in my personal life. I'm jostling with. in some way i have to take care of the family in some way my <laughs> wife does enough i don't need to do anything right in some way i am now a father in some way i have to take care of people my parents are aging janki's parents say you know all the things that are expected your mind tells you that yeah. no one expects that of me i know that but your mind tells you but when you are when you are acting i let myself go because that's the one place i know no one's judging me because they don't even know that <laughs> This is this is Ram Kapoor being yeah, his one of the best. Yeah, exactly. Percent, right? It's not it's not Nakul so, at all. So I I want to fight that, but yeah. It's such a powerful thing because in my work, when I look at people, and we asked you to write a handwriting sample, uh, for our listeners, we asked uh, Nakul to write on a blank sheet of paper a few lines, yeah. and it's always that vulnerable space that I feel I have to get into in order to have a conversation. So what to you Nakul what questions do you have for me Okay so I have to tell you that this part is also very hard for me Yeah you can just go with it No it's hard for me because I've never been to a therapist mm. because I feel that it's my responsibility to take care of myself mm. I don't know how to ask so when you asked me that there will be questions I will expect of you I was like can I <laughs> ask because some part of my brain tells me I know the answers mm. but I also know I don't right? So ye bahut important sawal hai aapne jo ye jo part hai na ki पूछे सवाल क्यों पूछे किसी से और से क्यों पूछे मैं अपने दिमाग से नहीं मैं आपसे आप... पूछ सकता हूँ <coughs> पर आपसे क्या पूछना है मैं कितना अंदर जाऊँ मुझे उसे डरना मन करे वट एवर यू फील सेफ वट एवर यू फील कम्फर्टेबल एंड ऑल्सो माई स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट इज कई बार हम डिसाइड करते हैं कि हमें कितना अंदर जाना है पर अगर वो हम थोड़ा भूल जाए जैसे एक्टिंग में यू नो दैट्स आई वॉज गोइंग टू यू सेट यू अलाव यूर सेल्फ टू जस्ट बी I feel the most amazing conversations I have had on the podcast or in my real sessions is where I didn't know where the conversation was going to go. So I think one thing which really bothers me uh and I struggle with is uh I feel the discipline, the passion and the work ethic I bring to my work I often expect it of everybody else. And I often feel let down especially on a set where people don't come with the same level or even half the level of motivation inspiration work at you know ethos uh and often i feel ki yaar ye to basic hai na hum sab hum sab ne agree kiya hai kaam karne ke liye hum sabko paise mil rahe hai koi kisi ke upar gun nahi lagayi hum yahan aaye hain kyunki hame koi acha banana hai to main bahut bana aisa dejected feel karta hu yaar to basic tha ye to pata hona chahiye na and this happens across different departments right and it makes me feel very bogged down because otherwise i am someone who's very embracing of people i'm very encouraging i feel but sometimes i get just let down ki yaar ye to basic hai tum actor banne aaye ho to be vulnerable na be her be present line to yaad karke aao na matlab ye to basic hai tumhara kaam ye main bata nahi sakta tumhe and i feel then i become sometimes harder on people than i should be and i've, I've been often pointed this out by by my wife by close friends on a set that it's okay is out but i can't and i sometimes i don't think i see the human see human side to them where 
they may not be as passionate about what they do as i am or maybe i have more at stake mm. like sometimes i don't recognize that for me people know the show because of me for them they feel this is one of the things they do mm. i don't know how to find a middle ground and be should i find a middle ground or should i be more accepting or should i how do i raise everyone to my level of motivation is is something i struggle <laughs> with yeah to ye jo sawal aapne pucha hai is most of the people who are passionate about what they do they have that level of intensity that they yeah. bring in and yeah. that intensity is palpable because you wake up and you have that whole energy to go about yeah. when other person does not reciprocate it's almost like aapka man nahi hai dance karne ka ab dance floor pe to aa gaye par aap bas you're just there and you're just like figuring it out and the problem is when it breaks your rhythm when it impacts your performance yeah. when it impacts oh, your yeah. ability to deliver is where you have a problem it messes up my mind but you don't have problem with their choices let's no. be very clear no. problem tabhi hoti hai kai logo ko hame logo se problem tabhi hoti hai jab unki wajah se hamara performance kam ho jata hai also on a larger scale it messes up my vision for i feel we are creating the greatest television show for the world to embrace mm. why don't you feel that you know but there is a gap of communication is there a space where you have communicated this maybe not sometimes mujhe kai baar lagta hai na ki as leadership like what you talking about is the leadership question yeah. agar aapke paas ek team hai us team ko ek same enthusiasm pe leke jana hai to kya kare har kisi se alag alag tarike se baat karne ki skill hame develop karni chahiye samadama dand bhed niti kehte hain hamare yahan to har baar pyar se encouragement se nahi hoga kaam ya fir people have either please or they have anger they don't have the range in the middle so hmm. as a as a as an actor probably you have that range but as a leader of that unit i don't know how available that is for you professionally to do it because i believe there is hierarchy and people function i mean pretty much you and i work with full ownership at whatever so if that is the case and if yeah. the team is working with you yeah. not for you to kai bar wo communication translate karna for them to feel the ownership by seeing what is the value for them so you are very clear what value you get out of it correct you know what is the vision because you have seen that side jisne dekha nahi hai and where you are coming from is impatience correct you are not coming from ki unko dikh nahi raha what your question if i have to break it down it boils down to main batana chahta hu par unko samajh mein nahi aa raha right aur mere mein itne patience nahi hai ki main sahi tarike se samjha paau correct now the struggle here is of if i would have to put one word i would say empathy Hmm. is a space they are coming from and the bridge between that so impatience hum tabhi ho jate hain and one of my spiritual teachers taught me this ki kisi ke liye wait karna hmm. ye sabse difficult kaam hai life mein okay you know like as a parent you have to wait for your child yeah. if he is not well you would be wait on you would wait on him and that that requires different level of compassion to create changes in your team just the ability to give them that message and see and and be patient with that is extremely difficult so i would not say it's an easy thing but i don't think you have worked on it as a skill possible i'm impatient yes i am no i i agree with you on that because mere paas aapka handwriting hai <laughs> and uh, impatience uh, graphologically we speak when the lower case letter t flies off on the right side aur aapke yahan pe kahi kahi baar wo aise hota hai to anybody who writes like this or anybody who has that little uh, t flying off shows okay. that you have uh the need to reach what you are supposed to reach tomorrow yesterday ki dimag mein pahunch gaya to abhi bas chalo chalo ye baki sara part bhi wahan pahunch jana chahiye kai baar hamari timeline alag hoti hai so i would not say develop patience that's not what i'm getting at i'm just saying if we start understanding where the other person is coming from it changes the way we look at it i'm a dyslexic तो कई बार मेरी जो स्ट्रगल होती है सामने वाले को समझ में नहीं आती दे आर नॉट इम्पेशेंट विद मी बट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रगल आई गो थ्रू लाइक आई वुड बी डूइंग माय वर्क विद लॉट ऑफ एफिशिएंसी बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू समटाइम्स गेटिंग द नंबर्स करेक्ट और गेटिंग द ओ फ्रॉम वन प्लेटफॉर्म टू अनदर इट कुड भी एक्सट्रीमली चैलेंजिंग सो इन दैट प्रोसेस पीपल वोट अंडरस्टैंड और तब जब मुझे पता चला कि यार लोगों को समझ में नहीं आ रहा मैं वॉट आई एम सफरिंग थ्रू मुझे ये भी पता चला कि आई एम नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट दे आर सफरिंग you think passion is like this utmost important thing for some people it is not no. for them it is just providing for their family is the utmost important thing to jab hum apni apni jo ek definition of passion success professionalism ko value karte hain to hame lagta hai ki ye to basic hona chahiye 
क्योंकि हमारे लिए वो बेसिक है एंड यू नो मोर आई स्टडी पीपल आई रियलाइज पीपल हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टोरीज एंड द सेम थिंग कैन बी लुकड एट फ्राम सो मेनी डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव कि कहीं लगता है ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है वेर आर ना मेंटल जिम तो हमारे यहाँ पे एक मैं एक सीन दिखाती हूँ कभी कभी एक आर्ट वर्क दिखाती हूँ आई आस्क पीपल टू इंटरप्रेट और मुझे पर्सनली लगता है कि तीन इंटरप्रिटेशन होंगे पचास लोगों के पचास इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड इफ आई चैलेंज वन वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट देन दे हैव फिफ्टी अदर इंटरप्रिटेशन देन मोर यू सी क्लोजली एंड प्रडिक्टेबिलिटी लोगों में आई थिंक वो ऑब्जर्व करके फाइंड आउट कर करी जा सकती है इंटरेस्टिंग माई माइंड ऑलवेज रेसिंग सो आई मे बी सिटिंग विद माई चाइल्ड एंड आई ट्राई टू बी फुली प्रेजेंट एट लीस्ट विद हिम बट माई माइंड इज थिंकिंग ऑफ एक जिंदगी है अभी तो कुछ किया ही नहीं है so whilst people i think there's a i have a reverse problem most people are always celebrating wow <laughs> ye ho gaya wo ho gaya i think mera awards ki taraf jo attitude tha it came from a fact that oh no 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 let's not celebrate this because you've just got started mm. this is no achievement man mm. so it came actually not from a place of theek hai it came from a place like humility don't let this get to your head yes. because you've still not achieved anything what if this is a fluke what the last 10 years have been <laughs> you've just been the lucky guy at the right place right mm-hmm. so mind is like no you've got to work you've got to work and hence while i might be doing something which the world like any other actor would envy to do i'm always just not satisfied because i'm like abhi to shuruaat abhi to kitna karna hai yaar mm-hmm. abhi to likhna hai direct karna hai story tell hum bahut kaam karna hai i have to do so much on television like in my head doing three successful shows is not enough i want to be remembered as like the greatest habit built on television like i want to be a <laughs> habit for people like right i want to be the intimate converse part of the intimate conversations they have because i've been able to give them through the material of course a team has given there is so much inside that sometimes i feel i'm not just able to enjoy a simple moment because there's always like sometimes i feel my ambition is far greater than Your being reality. able to yeah than my reality and i don't need because i i don't crave for popularity i don't crave for material success I, it is important mm. it's not something which drives me what drives me is that if i'm not able to fulfill my potential in this life what a waste of my life you yeah. know if i'm not able to do everything and acting is one part of it it's not everything you know if i'm not able to like build those connections with my family with everybody if i'm not able to like have the meaningful exchange with every person i meet on the road who's affected by my work what a waste of a life like i feel i drive myself so hard that i'm not able to just enjoy that rajma chawal sitting there without thinking ki yaar ye bhi karna hai ye bhi karna hai and because of that i feel i'm not emotionally fully there for anybody hmm. i am there in the worldly ways but i feel i'm capable of so much more because all of that i bring to my characters but i'm not able to bring that in my personal life and because of that i'm not able to live a 120% life and i'm not happy 120% life kya hote pata nahi ye jo explain ki wo kuch matlab wo 100% mein bhi extra ho raha hai like wahan pe bhi dimag chal raha hai ki ye bhi ye bhi ye bhi ha matlab i just feel ki wo japan mein kaun sa hota hai what is it called qlm nahi ikigai nahi ikigai to abhi naya concept uske pehle hota na ki like You are supposed to be like for productivity ke liye kaizen kaizen right kaizen ki m- minimum minimum waste to, ha main ye sab pad chuka hu aur ye mere zindagi mein <laughs> while i am an artist while i am an artist a lot of this has played an important part of my life right yeah. where i feel ki yaar zindagi mein sab kuch achieve karna hai par mujhe abhi karna hai kyunki choti zindagi hai i feel i am not able to fully embrace and enjoy life because i'm always thinking of so much more so much more Mm. I don't does that communicate to you? Yeah. So uh, the question is how can I be more present? Actually, let's just break everything down. How can I be more present and not think about so these things? Yeah, that's much simpler yeah. ask. See, I couldn't come to this that's easy okay. like it that's took me so long. That's part of the process, but yeah. this is the process is like to be able to meet ourselves somewhere is a tough job. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, it's something that what you're doing is not uh, unnatural. Let's look at our lives, 18 hours all the best of the minds in the world are seeking your attention instagram ke zariye netflix ke zariye koi na koi notification so you are constantly pulled ye bhi ye bhi ye bhi and somebody said very powerfully very beautifully who is getting benefited by keeping you on the edge of more and more and more and more companies anybody who gets benefited by your desire hamare yahan pe aspiration ko bahut bada banaya gaya hai but 
even if you reach there and you know if you become satisfied in the moment then you won't be very useful for them hmm. we asking for more allows everybody to to be functional the very moment you become satisfied where you are you will be more empowered and you can make better choices par uske role models hamare paas hai nahi nahi hai हमारे यहाँ पे जो सारे रोल मॉडल्स हैं वो ज़्यादा अचीव कर रहे हैं वो ज़्यादा पैसा कमा रहे हैं वो ज़्यादा चीज़ें फुलफिल कर रहे हैं सो व्हाट डू वी लुक एट व्हाट इज हु इज़ योर सक्सेस रोल मॉडल आर दीज पीपल हु आर जेन्यूनली एंजॉइंग लाइफ और आर दीज पीपल हु आर रशिंग एंड गेटिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एनी पीपल पीपल यू लुक अप टू एज एज अ किड हमारे यहाँ पे हमेशा ये जो ज़्यादा 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 इज वॉट सी इज अ सबकॉन्शियस प्रोग्रामिंग you're not only fighting first of all you're not only fighting your choice you're fighting your conditioning shuruaat mein aapne kaha ki mere papa ko kabhi rote hue nahi dekha ya problem discuss karte hue nahi dekha very successful insaan ko dekha hai baith ke bas enjoy kar rahe hai conversation kar rahe hai baatein kar rahe hai it has become a norm to run and rush and just achieve a lot correct if we change the norm and i have a simple principle i call it isi okay isi is involvement surrender and intensity oh surrender and intensity together how just to carry so involvement like if you are having a cup of coffee right now what is the involvement like can we just play a little game right yeah. now yeah so just that that coffee just look at it and if you have to be fully involved with the next sip that you take okay surrender to a process that you don't know what it's going to be like hame na hamesha cheezon pe control chahiye और कंट्रोल के चक्कर में हम कंट्रोलिंग हो जाते हैं एंड कंट्रोलिंग इज लाइक आई वांट टू कंट्रोल द नेक्स्ट थिंग एंड द नेक्स्ट थिंग एंड द नेक्स्ट थिंग एंड द नेक्स्ट थिंग और हमें ये पता नहीं चलता कि लाइफ भी तो हो रही है हमारे साथ आपने डिसाइड किया कि मुझे कप ऑफ कॉफ़ी पीना है पर किसी ने कॉफ़ी बनाई वो एक राइट टेम्परेचर पर आपके हाथ में अभी है इफ़ यू सरेंडर टू दिस मोमेंट लाइक यू डिड इन द कॉन्वर्जेशन दैट वी हैड एंड आई यू बी फुली प्रेजेंट जस्ट लाइक जस्ट ऑब्जर्व योर कॉफ़ी इज योर माइंड स्टिल रशिक and just involvement with all five senses it's not very difficult all five senses you yeah. without me telling anything you just sniffed it just added one more sense to it Correct. when i said the temperature you almost felt the temperature jo hamare paancho senses hum leke aate hain kisi bhi moment mein and i think this is a practice that we all have to do every now and then so you sit wherever you know during the day five moments can we take to just be involved and surrender to wherever we are ke bhi yahan pe hai yahan pe hai and then the last one is intensity you said are surrender or intensity saath mein kaise ka surrender lagta hai ki bas go with the flow intensity is just to be fully involved in whatever you are right now doing requires intensity it's not a casual choice it's a genuine choice it is intense that you are present with that one breath it is intense that you are present with that one sip of coffee it's not just by chance aur maine experiment kiya maine logo ko kaha ki isi moment hum dhoondenge din mein kitne panch moments so people started reporting the five oh, moments nice. where they were isi they were at that Fully. intensity surrender bhi hai involvement bhi hai and it became a norm do you value being fully available to your child absolutely and just to look at his eyes just to look at how he's picking up things the involvement hi to hai i think with him it is the easiest yeah like because he doesn't take too much novelty hai novelty <laughs> connection hai involvement natural hai yeah. now same novelty same connection you said when my my uh, viewer or my fan comes to meet me i am curious aren't you involved with them yeah tab nahi soch rahe na hum iske baad kya karenge par ye involve hone ke liye hamare paas koi रीज़न uh, नहीं है कोई मेथड नहीं है कोई रोल uh, मॉडल नहीं है तो वी जैसे नहीं नहीं भागे, भागेंगे 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 उसके लिए बहुत रोल मॉडल्स है सो इफ वी कांट हैव दैट आई एस आई एवरी थिंग जस्ट बिकम्स मीनिंगलेस ट्रू द मोस्ट अमेजिंग थिंग्स इन लाइफ इज वेरी यू वर इन दैट मोमेंट सो लाइफ छोटी है पर लाइफ तो नहीं चाहिए Involvement, surrender, and intensity. Oh, sweet! Thank you. I'll take this back. <laughs> so you're an explorer. You said that you're curious. So that's so true. And if you do not get to explore enough, 
and i'm saying that because the way you have your why loop letters your curiosity just takes over so if you don't have enough to be curious about then your perfectionism becomes your way of solving the problem because dimag ko problem solve karne hai naya seekhna hai and your space of imagination is much wider than normal people तो उससे होता ये है कि लोग काम करके थक जाते हैं और आपकी क्यूरियासिटी चलती रहती है ये पर ये पर ये पर ये अरे हो गया ना अभी अचीव हो गया लेट्स मूव ऑन यू कैन डू दैट सो फॉर यू एज अ पर्सन नकुल आई वुड से यू हैव टू हैव थ्री एक्टिव हॉबीज फॉर टू बी प्रोफेशनली स्टेबल पर्सनली स्टेबल क्यूरियासिटी फिजिकल एनर्जी जो इतनी ज़्यादा है वो कहीं पर चैनलाइज हो जाएगी एंड योर लर्निंग कर विल बी बिल्ट नो मैटर वॉट अभी कैसे हो रहा है यस एंड अभी एंड बिकॉज यू क्रेव इट इंटरनली एंड दैट्स वट आई सी इन योर पर्सनैलिटी यू ट्राई यू एक्सपेक्ट योर टीम टू डिलीवर टू दैट यू एक्सपेक्ट द कॉन्वर्जेशन दैट यू हैव सोशली टू डिलीवर टू दैट और अगर वो नहीं होता तो यू आर लाइक अरे मुझे मजा नहीं आया oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> तो मेरा मजा आने का जो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इफ आई टेक इट एंड यू पिक अप नॉट वन नॉट टू बट आई एम स्पेसिफिकली सेइंग थ्री एक्टिव हॉबीज एक इंटेलेक्चुअल हो गई एक फिजिकल हो गई एक क्रिएटिव हो गई व्हिच इज नॉट योर वर्क इज वेर यू वुड थ्राइव सेम स्पेस इन माई नोट्स थिंग्स विच रिटर्न डाउन आई वॉन्ट टू डू फॉर माई like learn a new language mm-hmm. go horse riding so one is physical one is this and uh, the other one is go off to a solo trip to just understand like what my heart wants to do next so yeah like i mean i didn't see it like this but what you're saying is exactly what i'm craving for and it's it's written down yeah and one was learn dance with with janki so that it's it's yeah. something we built together together absolutely so yeah these are some of the things i'm already thinking of i had no idea that but also it's, it's life long like it's yeah. not only in this phase for you once you think you have learned one skill or one language you'll pick up something else intellectual correct agar wo nahi karoge aap to aapke liye everyday life It's will hard. become like why they're not as intense as <laughs> <I am." laughs> true true yeah. oh interesting okay great so i can make this as like a mental model for myself yes throughout your life uh, Usually I look forward to this in between like my sort of mm. cooling off period because tab waqt milta hai nahi throughout throughout thoda mushkil ho jata hai kyunki it's just so intense right your days are uh, yeah, but then 15 you minutes to, yeah 20 minutes once a week now yeah. that discipline will always uh, fulfill your desire correct so uh, be less hard on less people hard. around me and and one, myself yeah on yourself more yeah. than anybody yeah, yeah, else yeah. and yeah. people to matlab they'll thank me later <laughs> 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 तो इम्पेशंस इस बात पे के लिए नहीं कि यूर इम्पेशंट विद देम इम्पेशंस इस बात के लिए कि आपकी हंगर टू लर्न इज सो मच मोर दैट ऑल ऑफ दैट इज हैपनिंग एंड ग्रेट थिंग्स हैपनिंग यू आर नॉट डिलीवरिंग टू योर डिजायर ट्रू या वेरी इनरिचिंग थैंक यू एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो मच टू लुक टेक बैक या तो अभी I S I and three hobbies. I feel my greatest asset is I'm always in a state when I go to work or I'm preparing, where I read enough and I expose myself to art, to politics, to culture, where I'm able to be in a state of like what's my briefcase? Right, my briefcase is emotionally being ready. Being I like this live. concept. You said, "What's my yeah. briefcase?" Please yeah. tell us more. How do you build briefcase? So I build my briefcase by being making myself available to all of these influences. So you keep let art come in, let culture come in, let let people conversations come in, and conversations not just intellectual. Like I deeply cherish the conversations I have with my watchman when he wants to talk to me about <laughs> Allahabad, or with <laughs> my driver. They're yeah. as important as listening to a podcast, right? Uh, because that gives me a worldview which is not mine. and i i feel i take all of that when i go to work and subconsciously because i have an audience sitting everywhere but i come from bombay and i'm urban i'm able to layer it to be able to be aspirational because it's television but yet be real and grounded and be relatable because i've spoken to people from these belts right and and i feel like a sense of flow at work on most days not mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. because roz to flow mushkil hota hai there are days i feel intense flow and i love that feeling i want to be able to translate that flow to my personal life like 
in my relationships there are days where like john keen i have the most like you feel like it's such a and we've been we've known each other for 21 years dated each other for 20 years now wow it's been a while right and we constantly work at being in a state of flow and we find it sporadically it doesn't happen every day and when we find it we're like oh my god it's like <laughs> rediscovering each other uh, but i feel i'm not able like for my work i'm so structured that ye to karna hai so you spoke about briefcase and before i talk about flow i just want to explore that thing a little bit more uh you said you keep exposing yourself to different experiences mm. and you just invite those experiences in your uh world and keep them on a back burner you're not actively doing something about it you're like i'm exposing myself and right. i'm filling my briefcase yeah trusting the process that at right. some point the briefcase or whatever i have put in would just be available yeah. how fascinating is that i wish yeah. har koi ye kar paaye and it works beautifully where yeah. did you learn it did you build I it i don't know no i just <laughs> like while i'm going to work while i spend the first 20 minutes reading my screenplay for the day because i need to know the plan post that i'm listening to a podcast which talks about medical system in india mm. and how do i explain it to someone on my set that how does this come handy i don't know how to explain this mm. but once i understand like why getting medical help is so difficult in a country and why why genuine like because like the ratio of doctors to patient is just humongous yep. right you'll never have the great medical care but when you understand like what goes on behind and why that's why corruption why you suddenly able to build see it from a compassionate lens of it's a problem of plenty right mm. it's a problem of it's a where how do you then take it to your work is sometimes i don't even rationalize it mm. but i'm able to see that profession and hence find a relationship with if i'm if i'm playing off with a doctor it just comes in in a different way <laughs> it's it's very interesting but i now i don't know if it's intellectualizing like this is not a conversation i'll we'll have with people on a set but i feel i am able to use in ways which people don't so ye briefcase fill karne ke liye how do you build the discipline towards it what do you do yaar mera discipline hi hai there's a constant urge to want to fill this briefcase it's not a discipline <laughs> i need it it's it's my opium it's my black coffee <laughs> agar main nahi sununga ya nahi dekhunga ya nahi padhunga nahi like, expose hunga like my, like what i've been facing for the last 2 years is i have many many friends because i'm curious about people For the last two years, which I discuss often with my partner, is that I don't feel the same connection with a lot of them because mm. I feel I'm seeking different things, and I don't know it's good or bad because whilst I'm emotionally connected to them, I don't feel they're seeking at the same level or the same place I am, mm. and hence I feel distant. While I still I feel guilty about not being able to be in touch, mm. but I just feel that I'm seeking so much more, and how can I limit myself? So I'm there for them emotionally, but. I don't like. I can't find an alignment the way I used to, hmm. and I struggle. When you with were that. at the same point together, I struggle with that because at some point in my twenties I was, and suddenly I'm not, and I feel uh, like from their point of view, is this because there is some amount of success, there's some amount of busyness, but it's none of that. It's just that mentally I'm at a different space, hmm. uh, and I grapple with that because I I want to be available to everybody in my life. Like why? That's, why did I want to be an actor? I want to engage with people. I want to give When back. When you choose to, I want to be present for people. When you choose to. But today I'm not able to be there because I just feel that I'm slightly, I'm a, I'm on a different trajectory. Is that a good thing? Am I being selfish? I don't know. But And Nicole, that makes me being unhappy. available for everybody all the time. Yeah. It's a very demanding. It is a demanding. But I feel that's my purpose in life. being available to everybody all the not, time not available is not the right word my purpose is not to be the greatest actor or not to like make hit shows my purpose is to be of value to people of to be able to make them feel a little bit better about themselves in this world which is not making you feel great that's my purpose and i feel that i'm not able to align myself i'm emotionally being able to align but i don't seek those conversations anymore and it's a it's an alienating it's a guilty feeling mm. which i live with every day so is it okay if you accept that at this stage of your life like you know for a for an arrow to really go ahead it has to be pulled back enough true so if you start pulling back your arrow mm. enough so thereby you can move forward or like filling your cup of coffee enough so that when you overflow you find the connection because people after a point won't be able to feed you with things the way you seek correct 
and if we don't get that then we'll always seek that connection to feel good and this is a shift that happens when you cross certain levels and you have to start adjusting in a new emotional way so your feeding mechanism happens in different areas and your giving mechanism happens in different areas mm. if you start thinking that the people i give to will feed and it's going to be back and forth then you would be fooling yourself and that happens to many many people and that's why this sits uh, lonely on the top mm. because initially when you're working together you're feeding off one another so give and take Correct. as you grow further and it becomes you know like hierarchy starts setting in you have to have different people that you feed off or you know do that that camaraderie game and then people you keep giving to and then the flow won't end because you have taken care of yourself wow so coming back to the flow concept that we were talking mm. about so mihai chiksen mihai talks about flow in the most beautiful way and for our listeners of viewers if you haven't read the book flow you must this is like you know highly highly recommended okay. one part of the book he talks about what is flow is where you are constantly challenging yourself and you're building the skill set for the new challenge so if you don't have enough skill set you won't be interested if you don't have enough challenge you won't be interested so being on the edge where the challenge and the skill set are constantly fighting negotiating and and making you you know be on your toes <coughs> is where the flow happens so for you the flow in relationship would be what are those activities that you can do what kind of conversations you can have that you don't have the skill set for but you're challenging yourself in different contexts so in relationship flow is highly highly influenced by your ability to absorb and receive what people have to give do you absorb and receive what people have to give it's very difficult with a preoccupied mind yeah it's very difficult so the very moment you start practicing flow so one of my uh, clients did this he said for next one month or i think two months he did that he said i'm not going to interrupt anybody oh, while speaking <laughs> that's that's something i'm working on too yeah and he just like continued he just like every day i would like keep score if i interrupt i'm going to keep score and he just built that flow and that whole process of observing because it became a challenge for his mind that if i interrupt which means i am i'm not valuing and and then he just said okay when he evaluated that after a month or so he just had a new skill that he developed now he could choose to speak and choose to keep quiet but initially he couldn't beautiful life. so a game like that for your yeah i'm actually it's interesting you mentioned and i'm actually on the same place where i've been watching how much i interject and uh, especially like sometimes you know like i was always thought that i I'm a soldier for you know equality and mm. feminist. Sometimes I realize that you're interjecting your partner because you feel it's out of love and you know the person, you know their thoughts. Twenty years, right? But sometimes I feel it's you need to let them express themselves, even though you know the answers. Yeah. And that's something I'm actively working on, and I still fail at it. But it's a it's a conversation I've started having after twenty years. Wow. She's never brought it up, but I realize that why am I stopping her? I, I watched a video. You made a reel out of this. Like I, it I actually, caught myself. That was wonderful. So that's, that's a program we're doing for UNICEF, and that point came from me. I said, "Dude, this is something I struggle with." While I might outwardly, <laughs> be, like, be proud of the badge, like you know. Nakul, like, when we gonna yeah. get to see this Nakul? Like I, there is like I today I'm, I met a different yeah. person altogether. Like all I mean, that I've heard about you. All I mean, that I bring I, all of this to my work. It's not that, and I that's why I think I feel I'm so passionate about what I do because I bring in things. which most people don't yeah. because i think most people guard themselves i'm able to do that freely at work my challenge is to be able to do this freely in personal life you know while i think about this and very deeply kahin na kahin wo gap ho jata hai yeah. i think some journaling sessions and some time with yourself would yeah like i do not fully agree with you on this okay i feel that you do have a lot of transparency happening uh in both the areas i don't see this is like you can't do it in personal space because i was you asked me this question yesterday mm. and i was looking for cues i'm like is he really a different person in a personal zone versus professional is he a different person no that that ability to communicate probably you need to have different way like you know sometimes we don't have the skill set to yeah. have a deeper conversation because zarurat hi nahi padti humne dekha hi nahi kisi ko so just by learning the skill set to have a deeper conversation with people and it's a skill like as a coach you know i think deeper conversation is not, sorry i'm interjecting your thought no but <laughs> 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 uh, 
but uh, <laughs> i think i'm able to have deeper conversations what i'm not able to have is share my deeper vulnerabilities with people and how how are they different and people not everybody can understand even one or two people are we talking it's a, about it's a different i feel i'm able to have very deep like some of the friends some of my friends really open up to me in ways they don't open up to other people because i'm there and you can't and this comes also from a deep spiritual practice i have and i would pray for them i'd pray with them and i'd care for them more than you know like the societal i don't need to be a friend to you because societally i'm hanging out with you no but i feel that being able to like my greatest challenge is if i've had a tough day at work i find it hard to share it with my partner who's like the closest person right? so before we get there and share it mm-hmm. with someone else can we start journaling so that you start sharing with yourself yeah interesting so that's like a first step when you think mm-hmm. that my expression within my expression with myself becomes yeah. more comfortable and i did this experiment as people to journal on a timer and they just like went blank i said the only thing you're going to do is you're not going to get up from that seat no matter what happens oh. and that this comes from uh, elizabeth gilbert she has a writing practice where she has one hour of writing and she's like i would die but i won't get up from the one table hour. every day she wow. being a professional writer she has pockets of one hours but one hour every day for a regulated time that she like that one hour is i will be here no matter what and uh, in that context uh, i asked people for 15 minutes you're just going to sit here and observe and for 5 days people couldn't write anything and we did a 21 day process so 5 days people first 2 3 days they like struggled and i'm like tell your mind you're not going to get up you're going to be here until that thought is not expressed so once you start doing it you give yeah. yourself the outlet and then whatever happens once that outlet is open then you can choose to share or not but right now i don't think the problem is you're not sharing it with janki i think the problem is you're not acknowledging and sharing possible yeah and i feel like that level of openness is what where the flow comes in right mm. i mean someone might outwardly look at this and say this is a first world problem <laughs> it possibly is yeah. but i feel that why can't you be completely in touch with just like yourself like you're in that flow where you're able to really express because when i'm able to do that i feel i'll just be better at both places you know and again that comes from a desire to like live fully mm. to be fully present and i feel these are like these are blocks i'm working which are not just going to make relationships unbelievable mm. like i'm not happy with beautiful relationships and i i share beautiful relationships <laughs> with most people i wanted to be unbelievable i wanted to be like at a flow which <laughs> i've never experienced and what is stopping me is is these mm. things but uh, these are very valuable insights which i'll take back and Yeah, I'd like like to apply it and that live a fuller life. Lovely to have you. Thank you. I'm so happy <laughs> we get to see this side of Nakul yeah. that I don't think any time anybody has ever. Explored. Well, thank you for bringing it out because most people don't have such open conversations, uh, and that's why I told you like when we spoke yesterday that I don't enjoy this process because it's such a it's such a superficial conversation, yeah. right? And I'm I don't enjoy talking about myself, my work achievements. It's <laughs> it's on Google. you know yeah. no one really s- yeah. speaks intimately and no one really shares and that's my problem with interviews or um, of course this is not one no but that was the idea that we wanted to develop we said real conversation real mm. people a real side of the people that you know and as you go deeper yeah. i think when you accepted something and it was so beautiful and vulnerable i think many people who would watch this and listening to this this just your voice you know tearing up and, and and having that that emotion would realize it's absolutely fine to honor our emotions for everything that they are not always trying to show up and showcase so yeah especially in a world where everyone's posturing right and so, i belong to an industry where it's all about posturing yeah, with multiple so, layers of filters yeah I, th- that's really <laughs> my challenge right now to break all of that like i might feel i don't have some of those but i do of course have like i think your last project yeah. that you did with nikhil taneja was about that and i yeah, i watched that yeah. film and i yeah. it was really beautiful yeah i think it was a reflection of who he is really and uh, yeah i think this year is going to be about that for me and i feel i'm i would be really successful when i'm able to really tap into those those my yeah. data and hence i i in my head i don't feel successful mm. you know because for me uh, material success or societal validation is not enough i feel when i'm when i can find this flow is when i'd be and the world may not see it but i will feel it <laughs> you know 
how so, feel i think you have felt it and you're no, like, no of course i've you can be creating yeah. it yeah but i want to feel it at every given point yeah i have this thing when i coach people uh, i have like this thing the flow has to happen on a cue So mm. when we have like that on a cue, so that's the mastery. And all performers that we all appreciate, they yeah. get into that zone on a cue. So, how amazing would that life be? Yeah, it yeah. is. Do you feel that? I have been practicing flow on a. How on a cue. successful do you feel on a daily basis? I think a lot of practices around just to have the flow on a cue, because every every conversation is so intense, and I work with people who are who are not like. So Rashi defines it well. She said she doesn't teach people how to play cricket. Like Kohli knows how to play cricket, play cricket, but she would coach him to push his boundaries. So for for me to do that to you, I need to know how do I play that, and so that's been my twenty how years of I how do I play to your energies of the day and find still your connect with me and with yourself and with work. So I have a second question to yes. that. How do you feel when? You've had 250 conversations. I'm sure a few of them haven't gone, haven't been fulfilling or value creating for you. How do you how do you deal with that disappointment? So I uh, this is what I was trying to tell you. Yeah. Like my, for example, these conversations or anything very intimate, I would have my mechanisms to fill my glass, and thereby I'm fully willing to play. The very moment I start expecting you to to give me the satisfaction that I have had value. then i am expecting you to perform for me so you felt that all these 250 conversations have been successful in not you understand what i, I say i can't say 250 because first 100 i was dabbling as a podcaster yeah, you. but i would say as a as a coach when i know i'm coaching that time they are and i i was trying mm. to get that coaching experience into this and i feel now last 100 episodes i feel we only do this we actually if if the conversation doesn't reach the point that we did Yeah. We don't want to have the truest connect. We don't publish it. Oh, interesting. So, that's ah. the idea. Like, if if you don't feel and and we have like that said, Rashi, you know, we ah. in, internally we will say, ting ah. nii hua. Wo conversation ah. mein wo wo feel nii hua. You know, like guest ko kya bolte ho fir yaar? बहुत बहुत मुश्किल. Luckily, we had to discard two conversations only. Only. Only two conversations. But we did. We managed to. It was just like you didn't have the heart into it, and for yeah. if the product that you put out or the things that if it doesn't have like that joy, then what's the fun? Then it's a formality. Then it's a lot of podcasts. Then what do you do? Lovely talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> oh my God! Breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. I didn't expect this conversation to be this engaging, this intimate. But we all get to see Nakul's other side. तो अगर आप नकुल मेहता के फैन हो किसी को जानते हो या फिर समवन इज लुकिंग फॉर ब्रेक थ्रूज इन देर ओन लाइफ डू शेयर दिस एपिसोड विद देम एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल बिकॉज एवरी वीक विल ब्रिंग इन सच कॉन्वर्जेशन डीप इंटेंस एंड समवेयर यू कैन लर्न अ लॉट अबाउट योर सेल्फ सो स्टेट यू